when you build Python, not on Windows, but like on Linux and on Mac OS, a bunch of absolute paths get encoded. So it's kind of hard in general to like build Python on one machine and then take that Python and like send it to a different machine and run it. Those absolute paths might be different. So in general, Python is not relocatable. Right. This causes some problems because it means that if you want to install Python, like with PyEnv, for example, PyEnv will have to build Python from source. So it yeah. downloads the source code and it runs the whole build process. Now, this isn't true for everything. Like if you install Python through like a Linux distro manager, like apt install Python or whatever, yeah, yeah. that typically doesn't have to build. And that's because in a Linux distribution, they can make a bunch of assumptions about where things are. So the okay. absolute paths tend to be right. Greg Sork created this project called Python Build Standalone that basically patches Python to make it relocatable. Those are the Pythons that we use. So they take Python 3.13, Python 3.12, and they apply a couple patches during the build process to make them relocatable. So we took over as maintainers of that project. It does come with some quirks. I think we've like significantly reduced the number of deviations over the past few months. Some of that is about we're working with CPython to actually yeah. like change things in CPython. And some of that is about fixing things in Python build standalone and just making investments there. We do a lot of optimizations during the build to make the Python faster that PyEnv typically skips because it's kind of slow to like run that build process. But because okay. we're just like building it once and then everyone gets it, everyone kind of benefits from that work. Yeah. But if you do run into quirks, you should file issues <laughs> so that we can fix <laughs> yeah, them. Yeah. That is my yeah, only request. Cool.